Greetings, Talos Institute, on the 30th anniversary since your birth. I first was exposed to the thinking that is so deep within the soul of Talos with Ken Gergen's book, The Saturated Self. I read that when a graduate student, perhaps 50 years ago. Social construction is so important. I am a healer. I am both a Western trained MD PhD by the name of Peter Whitehouse and also a tree doctor who asked human beings what can we learn about health from trees and forests. I'm particularly interested in the future. What new social constructions do we need? In fact, do we need a new social construction of social construction? So I've been promoting the notion of eco-psycho-social reconstruction or eco-social construction. The idea that it needs to be eco-social reconstruction implies that we human beings tend to think of the world as only through our own eyes. It's the human social. But we communicate with nature, and trees and forests communicate with us. We can no longer, if we are to survive as a species, think of ourselves in isolation, hence eco-social. Reconstruction implies that all constructions are built on a foundation of other earlier concepts. My own work, for example, has taken me to challenge the whole notion of Alzheimer's disease in a book, The Myth of Alzheimer's. I was also introduced to Taoist by David Cooperwriter and eventually Don Dole. I have a faculty appointment in the Organizational Behavior Department at Case Western Reserve University, where David also founds his home occasionally. Appreciative Inquiry is a positive organizational scholarship form, and I myself have dabbled in positive aging and positive psychology. But there's a dark side that I also explored, which is there are problems in the world, there are opportunities, and sometimes when we go around the circle, we don't finish the circle in appreciative inquiry, we don't design, and most importantly, we don't go around the circle again and constantly reflect on our organizations and how they need to change. I also want to acknowledge Mary Gergen's contributions to my learning. The idea of play, the idea of social theater, very much played into my own thinking about positive aging. And by the way, mentioning positive aging again reminds me that Mary and um, Ken had a newsletter that I would uh, comment on from time to time. But aging has its balance, that needs balance, positive and challenges, just like uh, positive organizational scholarship, just like positive psychology. But it was part of the inspiration of Mary and others that I adopted this character, which I call Sylvanus, originally. Sylvanus is the Roman god of forests and boundaries. And so the idea that um, that character could ask human beings what they learned from forests and trees in terms of health um, has been central for the last 10 years. Although recently that character has passed. But play is important. I don't offer workshops anymore. I only offer playgrounds. And let me bring uh, another concept from Taos that's been influential to me, relational issues. So my good friend, Kristen Bodeford, introduced me to relational research, although I was actually more involved in relational education and in relational health. I helped Dawn organize a conference in Cleveland before COVID on the relational aspects of health. So here we're showing trees. It's our relationships to trees that are important for our individual health, but also the health of our civilizations. In fact, it's been said that trees are the shadows of civilization. 
that we can see how uh, civilizations evolve by their relationships with trees. So of course we descended from trees, we cleared forests, we burned forests for agriculture, we uh, burned for we burned wood for fuel, we made masts, we made papers, and today our world is burning up and the trees are showing us that. So it's the climate crisis that the tree doctor and Peter Whitehouse works most actively on because that is the greatest threat to our species. And of course that's associated with social injustice, poor people get affected more by climate change, change climate uh, weather alterations, and also income and equ equity is a huge part of the neoliberal uh, neoliberalism and how it dominates our, our thinking in, in the societies around the world, frankly, whether it's democracy or another form of oligarchy. I think uh, Taoist for me has been about the future. It's been about learning, uh, learning deeply. I sometimes say I'm in higher education, but I would prefer to be in deeper education. My wife and I started three public intergenerational schools in Cleveland that have been quite successful, where elders and kids go to learn together. That development was also influenced by the Talos Institute and Appreciative Inquiry. When I first uh, left Hopkins and went to, um, to Cleveland to found the Alzheimer's Center, of course, I'd already been influenced by some of the thinking of Ken Gergen's thinking, but um, I joined the organizational behavior department to try to help me develop the Alzheimer's Center. And it was during uh, a degree there in both bioethics and professional management that I developed the model for the, the school. And it was David Kolb who developed the concept of the learning cycle and the experiential aspects of learning that were so critical to me. So I appreciate the the, the similarities between the learning cycle and appreciative inquiry, something that was a bit uh, novel to the appreciative inquiry folks. But the idea is that you learn in the world, you reflect on the world, you develop a model and you take action in the world is, is essential to ongoing learning, experiences in the world, which led to my interest in wisdom, my interest in trying to develop alternative university forms, my interest in the PhD program, a Taoist and the challenges it's facing. But to me, if you get to the root of it all, it is in fact that we are human beings in nature and our competitive advantage is how well we learn and our future will depend on whether we wise up and design a viable course for the future. I hope that in its next 30 years, Taoist continues to contribute to that important human task.